use seawater to solve the world's energy problems, with nuclear fusion it's possible. Imagine if something the weight of this basketball could release as much energy as 8,000 tonnes of coal. That's about the same as the Eiffel Tower, and it's how much a coal-fired power plant burns in a day. This form of energy is called nuclear fusion, and it's the same type of reaction that happens in the core of the sun. The fuel for this you can extract from seawater and from lithium, like the batteries that you have in your mobile phone. And those are abundant, and there is enough fuel around for millions of years of CO2-free energy production. So with all these advantages, the question is, why don't we have this already? So one of the biggest challenges that we investigate here at DIFA, the Dutch Institute for Fundamental Energy Research, is that for a fusion energy to occur, the fuel has to heat up to a temperature hotter than 10 times the center of the sun. Then, where that heat hits the wall, it's like applying a blowtorch to the material. And that material then has to withstand this heat for years at a time without problems. And that's what we test with this unique setup. This is the machine Magnum PSI. It's the only machine in the world that can create the heat and the other conditions that you would expect at the wall of a fusion reactor. Here you can see it in operation. One of the things that we investigate is using liquid metals. These have the great property that as the wall is eroded away, it can be continuously replaced. Technology like this can be used in a future power plant, so you don't have to regularly stop and replace the walls. With research like this, we can really make a difference in delivering nuclear fusion as a future resource for humanity. So just think, next time that you're swimming in the sea, you're actually surrounded by the fuel that can power humanity's future.